Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a very, very, very long time since I've last recorded a video. Um, today we have a very special guest. Ready? Introducing our co-host slash co-founder slash editor, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! Oh my god, don't knock over the table. Okay, so I have my iPad over here, and it's got questions for us. This is probably going to be a two-part video. One part, the first part's going to be with him. The second part's going to be just me. First part, I'm going to be building this. Second part, I'll be building that. I just hit him in the face. Um, I broke one of his plants, new leaves, right before this video. We started recording, so... <laughs> He's upset because I not only took the newest leaf, but I took the leaf that was coming from the new leaf. So he's upset about it. But anyway, I'm going to start unboxing this. Oh, what? Instructions. It says 18 or older on it. That's funny. We're going to see how my ADHD does with answering these questions. One bag at a time. One bag at a time. What's this? Instructions. That's the instructions? Yeah. Why is it in a fancy? Is this even Lego? Yeah, it's Lego. See, look, it's oh. got the it's got the Lego Lego on it. Lego leg Lego logo on it. The Lego Lego on it. The Lego logo on it. <laughs> okay. So book one is this one. Okay. Which is that this is three this is three here i'll just move all the other ones we need the orange piece open it up okay i'm gonna start us off with the first question i have written down it's about to get loud it is don't lose any pieces Okay, so our first question that we have is a basic one. Where have we been? That's working. A very good question. Michael said he's been working. I have been, you know, studying away, the studious student I am, up on campus. And we just got to the point where we couldn't keep up with making videos because he would be working during the weekend. And is a Lego helper? Oh, if you got, like, it's stuck or something. You know how many times I broke my fingernails trying to get this <laughs> off, and now they make a tool to do this? Get out of here. Ridiculous. <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, Michael is a coach for a hockey team, so the weekends are kind of filled with a lot of hockey games and a lot of traveling, like... It's insane. Like, there'll be anywhere from one to four or five games a weekend. And they're not all in the state that we live in. So, it's... We gotta go all the way up to New York. We gotta go all the way to New Jersey. We gotta go to Delaware. We gotta go to Maryland. You know, all over the place. It's tournaments, so... For tournaments, yeah. It's all over the place. Or even just traveling to just different areas. Like, this weekend, you said... The farthest is an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, an hour right? and 30 minutes from us, yeah. But there's positives to that. You know, even though we didn't get to go see it yet, we tried to go to a greenhouse and it was closed. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, we went. We tried going to a greenhouse and it was closed. And then where we're going this weekend for a game, the last time that they had a game at this rink, there was an accident with Michael's old truck. Yeah. So we didn't make it. <laughs> And we were going to go to a, uh, a greenhouse up that way, but I don't remember the name of the greenhouse anymore. That ship sailed. I don't remember anything. Well, that was such a long time ago. That was when, like, right before... Was it right before we stopped recording? I don't remember. I think it was, like, right after we stopped recording. Because it, it was... It was, like, almost... It was, like, the... Not the middle of the semester for me. It was, like, the beginning of the semester, but it was, like, a month in, kind of. It sucked. You're just going to town on this. Yeah, I'm trying. Wait. I'm not done yet. I got these for Christmas, and he's, he was like, I don't want to do this. This is stupid. 
No, I didn't want to get in a video because I wasn't sure how it was going to be. I told him to just act normal. And I'm that's the hard. one that's mic'd up. So. I'm mic'd up too. It's right there. I know. Um, where else have we been? Flowing in debt. <laughs> Flowing in debt? Oh, yeah. Like I said, Michael got a new truck. And with that comes, you know, big, big responsibilities. Oh, also, if you notice that Michael's not using his one finger, it's because he has five stitches in it. Yep. I cut it. Just Stupid. five stitches. Stupid no biggie. Metal. He didn't want to go to the doctors, and I was like, no, we're going. And my dad's... Because I'm a man. <laughs> he said, no, I'm fine. There's, I'm pretty it sure. Was, it was a bad cut. It wouldn't have healed right, okay? He needed the stitches. would have had a nice scar. Girls would have said, mmm, that is a nice scar. And I would have been like, so nice. yep. I don't even know what What other girls are you trying to impress? You're making a cactus, I think. <laughs> And I'm not trying to impress any other girl because I don't care. You they don't can care. try. Here, you know what? They could try and strut their stuff, but it's not going to work. Can you move all these pieces over to that side and I'll do this one on this side? You just have to make things difficult. Uh, well, you're building that and I might as well build one. <laughs> yeah, because you're bored. Yes, I'm just sitting here it talking. Sucks. This is going to be very loud. Don't dump, don't dump on my pieces. ASMR. Oh my god. Okay. What's another question? Uh, oh, another reason why we haven't been able to do anything is because I'm working a lot of overtime. To, you know, pay for the truck he got. Pay for the truck and also try and pay for our trip to Montana. Oh, we can talk about that if you want. She needs to stop saying that she's going to get engaged. Okay, so we are going to Montana for our six-year anniversary, right? Six years. That's okay. a very long time. That I've been dealing with this girl. Unbelievable. Well, no, let's go back in time a little bit. Actually, last night we redid his bedroom at his parents' house because we don't have our own place. You will get that in, in every video almost because we're always complaining about how we're doing these videos in the most inconvenient places possible. Um, but anyway, we were redoing his room at his house and his parents had said uh, to him that he they wanted him to like go through clothes or whatnot and his mom went through clothes and found... Um, Pictures, well, no, shirts from preschool. This guy, let me tell you, he had the same teachers as me. And he was there the same time as me. But he was the AM class, and I was technically considered the PM, even though I was there, the AM and the PM. I was considered the PM class, and he was considered the AM class. And some of the kids in his class were AM and PM. So they're in, like, both of his pictures and my pictures and, like, those things. So I'm on a mission to find a picture of us together in preschool because we went to the exact same preschool and it wasn't a big preschool like our class was maybe like five ten kids insane right yep anyway so for our six year anniversary six years whoop whoop we are going to uh montana which he used to live in montana he lived in Montana and played hockey there. He played hockey for two years there? Or was it less? Mm, it was two years. Two years? He used to live in Canada and play hockey in Canada, and then he uh, left Canada because the, there were a lot of reasons. But he, anyway, he left Canada and went to Montana to play hockey. And he was there for two years until about, like, COVID hit. And then, you know, the season was... The season wasn't necessarily getting canceled, but a lot of things were happening. And he got injured, which we found out happened to be a broken tibia that the doctors missed. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, he moved out to Montana, and he really loved it. And I was supposed to go out and see him, but because I was getting... 
uh, ready to graduate high school. I was kind of busy and, you know, being a high school student, obviously I don't have money to just get up, leave and go to Canada, not Canada, um, get up and go to Montana. So I just, you know, where are these pieces? Oh my God. They're all separated. Unbelievable. Anyway, so Montana is a really big place for Michael in his life. Done. And he, while he lived there, he had never been in, he had never gotten to see Glacier National Park. So that's where we're going. That's the main thing. So on our six year anniversary, we will have been in Montana three days and we will be going and staying in Glacier National Park. Tell me that is not the perfect place to get engaged. No, the plan is... We're to going, get engaged. No. <laughs> we're going up there. We're landing. And then we're jumping in the car. And we're heading straight up to Glacier. Not giving exact point, but you know. There will probably be a video of our experience and everything. Because there's a greenhouse... Yes, that I became good friends with. The owner. I wonder if they still remember you. Probably not. It's been... It's been so long. It's been about two years they since they used to give me discounts and... He used to go into this greenhouse with me on bored. FaceTime with him. And the owner of the store would be like, oh, honey... Let me show you, like, our showcase plants. And, like, she would take Michael there, and Michael would show me all the plants that they had in this, like, case. There is still some plants from Montana that she still has that are growing upstairs. It's looking a little rough right now. I just repotted it, and it's not too happy. Yeah, it's not too happy right now. It's the biggest monster I have. It's, it's all right, but not the best, if you know what I mean. I have to look for this tiny piece. Well, we need to keep that, that thing alive. Oh, yeah, that thing needs to stay alive. If that thing dies, I got plenty of nodes to work with, let me tell you, so well, I will keep need, that thing alive. We just need to keep that one alive because that one's special. Oh, I did the wrong pieces. That, that one is very special. So we're going to be going this summer to Montana. We're going to go to Glacier National Park. We're going to go to the Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone. And Yellowstone. It was just going to be Glacier, and then we were talking with my cousins, because that's who we're going with. And I was like, oh, let's go down to Yellowstone, because we won't be far from West Yellowstone. And then we were like, then I was like, well, Grand Tetons are only 45-ish minutes from Yellowstone, so why don't we just go down there, too? And my one cousin was like, yes, absolutely, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So we did it. We're going to do it. Your cousins are the biggest help. Oh, yes, they are. They're saving me. Right now, I'll tell you this. It's like... We aren't the age to rent a car. No, we are for Montana. It just for Montana. feels... Yeah. Like high rates because we're still like young. Like the insurance thing. Like, we're not the age where they trust people to rent cars and drive them. It's just not fair. No, it's not. They should, like, look at your record and be like, oh, that's an experienced driver. Should, but won't. No, because they'll probably be like, they've never driven in this state before, even though you lived there for two years. <laughs> um, let me read off the next question. Oh my gosh. We were, we were still on question one. That's funny. We just went off topic like so much. Um, two, what is our posting schedule going to be? Very good question. So I am going back in like two weeks. I don't know when this video is going up, but I will be going back to college as of recording this video in two weeks. So we're kind of trying to stockpile all these videos. We figured it out if we were to post every Wednesday that will need a total of 17 videos while I'm in my spring semester. So we're going to be trying to do that. So that's why this is probably going to be two parts. This is going to be the first part and then the second part is going to be doing that. But oh, that's that. But our, yeah, like I said, our posting schedule. Sorry, I'm so distracted. These are like hats. 
and the leaves are like hats. It's weird. Anyway, our posting schedule is going to be Wednesdays. And if we somehow get to have more videos than 17 videos, then maybe we'll post another one over the weekends, like a bonus one, like a Saturday probably. But I don't think that's going to be happening. It's just kind of hard yeah. to keep up with. It's hard to keep up with because of our schedules and... When we when we're together, we don't necessarily just want to be working, and this is this would be considered work in the long run, and that's not fun. We like to spend time with each other, especially since we don't see each other during the week. Like occasionally, I'll see him during the week. Like if I come down and I go to the boys' practice, then I'll see him. But like he's on the ice practicing with them, coaching them and whatnot, and then I'm just sitting in the <laughs> bleachers, like, oh hey, I see you. And then we talk quick afterwards, and then I have to go back up to campus, or I have to go home. Or you just stay the night. It just depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, their practices are so late. Let me tell you. That's how it was for me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My practices weren't late. My practices, I would get... That's because it's high school. Yeah, it was high school. I didn't do travel hockey. I just did high school for three years. Every year you get older in travel hockey the what's it called goes up the time so if you're younger you benefit as a parent because you know you don't have to rush your kid well you kind of do after school but I mean I, I would prefer doing an early practice than a late I don't think that these aren't the same color green I hope it won't matter in the long run. Is that everything? Oh my god. I need the red bees. This is a weird... This is like your nails. My nails? Oh, here's my nails. I'm missing my thumb right now, but here's my nails. Um... <coughs> Yeah, that's question two. When is our posting schedule? Wednesdays. And if we're lucky, you might get a bonus video sometime throughout the week. And if you want more of a schedule, it'll probably be Saturdays. That's that. Right? Just bear with us. Yep. This is going to be a learning curve. Massive learning curve. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Excuse me. I am. I am what? Question. I have ADHD. That's what. Um. Next question. Third one. Um. Where would we like to be by the end of 2023? We can make this a two-part question. We can say where we want to be with this channel at the end of 2023, where we want to be with our, maybe three-part question, where we want to be with our plants. No, that's another question for later. That's plant goals. Well, you, you, you like plants too, so we can do your plant goals in this one. And then where we want to be in our life by the end of 2023. I want to be engaged. Isn't it pretty, pretty obvious? Yeah, just a little. It's okay. I don't need to be engaged. We're young. It's fine. If you're not ready, you're not ready. I might cry, but it's fine. <laughs> I told him that I want to get engaged on our anniversary, and everyone says that there's no surprise in that. And I'm like, yeah, there is kind of a surprise in that because he could get engaged. He could have gotten engaged to me last year for our five year anniversary. He could get to engaged to me now, or he can get engaged to me in when we we're at eight because I don't want seven. I just don't want seven. <laughs> I want it to be, oh, is that a hockey game? Outdoor Extreme Ganza. Sorry, I have NHL updates on my phone. My Apple Watch. My phone's upstairs, dead. No, it's not it's right over there. Oh, you got my phone? Oh, how kind of you. I don't like this one. It looks weird. It looks stupid right now. <laughs> You look stupid right now. It looks like just, just kidding. I a love bunch you. of fingernails. It does. Uh, 
Um, so channel wise, where would I like to be in by the end of 2023? Where would I like to be? Honestly, if we got 100 subscribers, that'd be cool. And if we could actually post 17 videos, that would be really cool. I think our first goal would be to have 17 videos up like we wanted to make it through this semester with videos. That would be the first goal. I don't really care about subscribers and all that. If you want to be here, come and join. If you don't want to be here, then goodbye. I don't want to, like, bye. Come and join me if you want to. Don't if you don't. You know? I don't really care. Do your thing. I'll do mine. But I would... my feelings. What do you mean? If nobody subscribes. He, he would want subscribers. How many subscribers do you want by the end of 2023? End of 2023. Yeah. 150. 150 subscribers by the end of... Because that proves of... that we're doing something. That proves that we're doing something? We're making changes. Oh, it does. It fits. If I fits, I sits. Not sure how I feel about this one. I did it backwards. Preferably would rather do this one. What's your most favorite plant of last year? My favorite plant from last year? Oof. Oh, I think it's on the table. My strawberry shake. It took so Months. long to root. So long. But it's worth it. It was worth it. We had to drive. We didn't drive that far. It was like 45 minutes. And it wasn't... Now you could get a whole plant for the amount that I spent on the leaf. And I haven't even gotten a whole plant out of it. It's getting there. It's, it is. It's pushing out a new leaf right now. The original leaf is actually still on it too, which I'm shocked. Which one was it? This one? Yeah, that's the original. I still remember going to get it. You remember? Well, I... obviously, I spent money on it. I remember everything I spent money on. And then highly regret it later. Yeah, like, another plant that's on the table we spent a lot of money for, and you could buy a whole plant for it now. And well, it struggled so much. See... Here's the problem, because tissue cultures are coming out now, and all these other things. We have gotten into tissue cultures. I will say that. Well, we could talk about that. A long time ago, as in like almost a month ago. <laughs> Not that long ago. We decided <coughs> that it was time that we try something because it was, I think it was a Black Friday deal. It was. It was really cheap. It was... We did Pink Princesses and Ring of Fires. And I don't know why the person sent, like, three billion Pink Princesses. Oh. But I'll take so it. So many Pink Princesses. Just... To, like, I think... Well, how many did you order? Five? Fifteen? Five, ten? It was, it was, like, ten. We got, like, thirty out of it. And I still have, like... like, a clump of them. Um, I think one's gonna die. I really think. Oh, I think that one's toast. I think it's dead. It's mushy. <laughs> it's not coming back. But it's okay. I don't really care because we have so many and we didn't even like ask for it. Like we did ask for it, but we didn't ask for it. I, you know I feel mean? like he, they, he or she did it because of people complaining that they weren't. That's the thing. I feel so bad for sellers with tissue cultures. Because people that buy tissue cultures don't understand that it's not, it, it's coming out of a flask and it might not make it. Like, they just don't understand. And I think that's a shame because then the seller feels like they've not they're done well. They're obligated. And they're obligated to, like, make up for it when they aren't whatsoever. But, I mean, I'll take it. We can make a video 
after this run of tissue cultures about tissue cultures if you guys want to we don't do our own tissue cultures i have the stuff to do it i have media in the fridge right now ready to go but i don't have a setup whatsoever goal would be to do it someday yeah that would be a goal i don't know if we'll be able to do it this year it depends on how much when... we make it'll probably be when we get our own place someday and I can like have a plant room and I can make sure that there's not a mess and dirtiness everywhere, if that makes sense. Let me tell you, she got a little vac, well, I bought her a little vacuum. I Perfect. asked for a vacuum for Christmas for my plant room. My plant room is my get bedroom. This, get this, hold on. She put it in her wish list. I didn't, didn't look at the reviews. She didn't look at the reviews, so we had no idea what we just got. It was a $50 vacuum. If you want it, I'll put it in the description because it's beautiful. It's a great little vacuum. It's awesome. It cleans my shelves. It's, it does its job. You guys just can't, like, you know, get it stuffy. Yeah, it's a little, it's a tiny little thing. It's so cute, though. I'm missing a piece. How can you miss a piece Why one? you can't find it? Where is it? Where is it, Scotty? I'm missing a piece. I cannot go on. I'm missing a piece. What? I'm missing a purple piece. Do you have it? No. Oh no. Oh, I found the piece! <laughs> What's another question? Pest update. I will just say pests aren't 100% gone, but they are like on their way out. They're 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 definitely on their way out. They're not we don't welcome them. Nah, they're not welcome whatsoever. Definitely have been a pain in the tuchus, if you know what I mean. Last time we talked, I had said that I thought we had thrips update. If we did have thrips, I've gotten rid of them. And I think that we did have thrips because some of the damage on the leaves that I noticed looked thrippy to me and just, yeah. But I think we got rid of them. And then spider mites were a very big issue. And then I'm pretty sure how, uh, obviously I have fungus gnats. Everyone has got fungus gnats. You cannot convince me otherwise. If you don't have them, you probably do. You just don't notice them. They're not that bad. Like if you can't notice them, that's good. But the spider mites, here's, this is another question that I have, but the Gloriosa and Brandy update, here's my Gloriosa. Look at her. This is a leaf that she just Pop put out. off, girl. Like, look at her. Just look at that. And then she's putting out a new one right now. Like, girl, you're doing fine. We love you. Brandy, on the other hand, she's... Not the best. She's still alive, but she's definitely not the best. She could be doing better, but it's okay. She's doing the best she can. She's doing the best she can with the most she's got. <laughs> anyway. Lego. Lego my egos. <sighs> you distracted me. Where was I? This is why you cannot You're distract me. You're in the basement me. right now. I know. Oh, playing with Legos. Definitely. That's mine. I'm working on here. Another one. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Oh, the Amazon plant unboxing update. Most of those guys died. I think the only ones that are still around is one of the Peperomia. All the Peperomia hopes. Cut it. And then all the Epipremnum panatums are... Epipremnum... No, the Epipremnum ariums are all still around. So, like, the... Golden pothos, Hawaiian pothos, which I don't think the Hawaiian pothos is a thing. I think it's just how the leaves are. I personally would have to see genetic evidence that they are not the same plant. That was one thing that I did this semester. We did genetic testing of some of my plants. And one of them, Purple Passion, was not in the database that we were using. So we got to add it to the database. And I thought that was really cool. Because one of my plants is now in a genetic database for Purple Passion. How freaking cute is that? How freaking amazing is that? That's amazing. Are these like chicken feet? They look like chicken feet. They're like tree trunks. Is that a cactus? Yeah, I'm making a cactus. Alright, I'm making one too. 
You can join me in that video if you want. Two videos in one. Yeah. Come join us. Guys, if you want to see more Mikey content, let me know. Don't call him Mike. His name is Mikey or Michael. Okay? Because his dad and his grandfather have the exact same name. Personally, I find it annoying. Because everyone goes, Michael. And then they all go, huh? What? Huh? So annoying. So I call him Mikey. Next one's going to be Miguel. Miguel. Be like a master builder. We're grinding. What are you shooting? These beads. They keep falling everywhere. Okay. This chair is a 1 out of 10. <laughs> My butt is hurting <laughs> so bad. We're on... So, in the basement of my parents' house is the little desk that my sister and I used to sit on. And, like, color and crafts, all that. And no cushion. There's on. no cushion. It's just like, hardwood. I have a dumpy, but it's just not helping right now. <laughs> Your dumpy ain't so dumpity dumpity. It's so dumpy that all the cushion is spreading equally on this chair. And it's just putting bones. Who on needs a chair. instructions when you have imagination? You know, I'm really upset. I saw a TikTok, someone got wrong pieces, and it was so funny. The pieces that they got, I'm not gonna say it because in case this video ever gets monetized. I'm not gonna say it. It's a bad word. It's a bad word. Can I say a bad word? Yep. No. I didn't say anything. You guys heard nothing. Got that? Oh. It's guns. That's what... That's that's the TikTok I saw. It's not even a... I, I wouldn't even say this is a monetization because it's like the Stormtrooper guns from like the Lego Star Wars <laughs> sets. That's what it looks like. That Even like... Where's that arm? This is like the droid arms. From like Lego Star Wars. Uh, one of his hockey managers has a ice rink that we went on for Christmas Day. Coolest thing ever. If you guys haven't noticed, the lighting changed a little bit. The lights over here are dead, so we're using a ring light. And then the light was installed over here. But this wall used to be that wall. And we switched it. Yeah, so today at our table we have... Florida Beauty. I will pick it up and give you guys a close up of some of the sleeves. Here, I'm just gonna get up entirely. Uh, crippled. I'm gonna walk over here. This is not the original leaf, but it is one that we currently have. Then this leaf came in, 